Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and welcome back to Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Pisces, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for the end of January of 2024. And even though I am in the midst of dealing with some throat chakra energy and some sinus issues and the wonderful doctors at the hospital put me back on a house arrest and I got to have like more tests and everything. They wouldn't let me leave and go to work and that. They didn't take away my table. So I'm here. All right. In between getting like procked and pro probed and all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm here and I'm, we're going to read for you. We're going to pull on the energies around like the middle end of January. Look at Pluto and Aquarius, look at the full moon and Leo and see where this takes you. I appreciate you for being here with me and loving the like and that down here. Help get us into the algorithm. Help us heal. Let's just heal everybody. OK, it's a thing we do. Pisces, it's a genre. I appreciate you for being a part of it too. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I do normally go live every Wednesday nights. However, something wasn't letting me do it. So we're going to do it tonight. If you're watching this when it posts on Thursday here, we are going live tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, the OG time slot for an all signs. That is definitely going to be one to remember. So set the bell, subscribe, come and hang out with me and the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for the evening down in the chat, and we're just going to heal and have a good time. All right? And then feel free to page towards all over the channel. I got base cover playlists. I got pick card playlists. I got all your week live, uh, everything. It's neatly prioritized and organized. There's even playlists of my collabs and my meet and greets. You can see what it's like when I come to your channel. Okay. All right. Why am I acting? This is definitely better living through pharmaceuticals, Pisces. All right. I can't breathe or hear for squat, but, but we're going for it. All right. So for you and the one on your mind, we're going to do a nine card spread on the table using my awesome millennial tarot for your base cards. Grab a 10th card for the outcome at the bottom. And then we will throw a boatload of clarifiers at it with my Titanic tarot. I have like 2,200 stories on the 2,200 passengers. And I know all the rivets in the thing. I got files on all this stuff, doesn't everybody? But anyways, so we're going to go Snoop Dogg OG deep on this one. Okay. All right. And of course, the messages are for your highest grade. But that, that's a given. When you're with me, you are ultimately and definitely protected. I am the crystals. I got your back. Okay. So let's check it out. Let's do it to it, Pisces. We are connected to your energy and ready to roll. Here we go. All right, Spirit, give me everything you've got for Pisces. Two shuffles. One. Right there. And two. Whoa, preview. The preview is the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius Cancer energy on this one. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is starting to turn in your favor, I see here. The Pluto and Aquarius is helping you level up. You might even have some strong cardinal energy in your chart or Sagittarius in your chart. Something is allowing us to work out and you're sitting here with the 10 of swords going, I can't even, not possibly. How's that going? No, Archer. Yeah, totally yeah, Pisces. So let's find out, okay? Did I say and two? Let's find out, did I? And two. That works. Let's love this deck for the pretty proud Piscerians. Here we go. The bottom of the deck's the lovers, Gemini energy. And way back in the beginning, Back, with, back like even when Rider Waite was still trying to draw card ideas on cocktail napkins and bars and stuff, the, the, the Tarot de Marcel, it was already around. This was called the choice. It was making a choice and a decision and then sticking with it. It's why it's Ida and Isidore Strauss in the Titanic deck because they were some very deep lovers that made the choice to stay together and accept whatever fates or whatever comes to them, okay? There's a deep connection here that you have wished for in the outcome, all right? Gemini energy. Ace of Pentacles is underneath it with the Strength card. Did I not mention the Leo energy of the full moon? That's what we're tapping into to give you a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. You, This is Earth energy too. Look at the workbench that's on that Ace of Pentacles. Like how it shows like you're just getting started with this idea. This is like just the beginning of your future. It's Taylor Swift's blank space. Literally, okay? Like, like you've been through a dark night of the soul that you could write a New York Times bestseller about. Like self-publishing, Kindle, Amazon, all that stuff. And it's going to make you bank. So get that bread, okay? All right. Let's see where we go. I like this energy. What's your present energy? Told you. Your energy is going freaking viral, Pisces. It's the Four of Wands. Aries energy. Your wish is being granted. The card of the Twin Flame shows up. The Twin Flame is when you guys are on... Your frequencies of your energetical souls are so perfectly synced up that there is no way to tell them apart complete straight up you guys are direct up clones of each other your energies maybe even you notice lately like your person's nose looks a lot like you or your person's chin or something 
and you're like wow their eyes look just like mine when you look in their eyes and that it's it's it you pick up on that all right it's part of the twin flame energy in this one here it's a wish being granted for you okay it's it's the energy that you've looked for and wished for all right what is the immediate influence seven of pentacles every day i'm shuffling which i which much like me do seven of pentacles is is the hustle getting your hustle on to work, to come together, to make everything come into this one. Maybe even you're having kind of a little bit of an outer body experience at the moment. Taurus energy, Aries and Taurus. Could be an Aries Taurus cusper energy that you're dealing with possibly. All right. That takes us towards your goal or destiny, but it's kind of like that seven of pentacles, having this outer body experience that almost you feel like you're a clone or a copy of yourself. Okay. All right, let's go. It might even leave you feeling a little tired out or a little bummed out, or maybe like everybody's freaking copying you Pisces and you're like, ugh. Let's find out. We'll get more on it. We're going to go OG. All right, let's go. What's your goal or destiny? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. The balance, the healing, and the card of alchemy. You're creating this. Your goal or destiny is taking your power back in the card of top shelf energy. Straight up Tito's on demand above that all. Rising above it to manifest and create and to have the patience to go the distance and understanding that patience is a virtue because you've chosen to heal. All right, beautiful energy. Strong Sagittarius on that one. It isn't Sagittarius strong. All right. What's in their energy? Wow. Look, I'm really animated. This is whoa. All right. What's their, what's their present energy? They're in the 10 of cups. Maybe that's what it is. I might be pulling their energy or you could be dealing with another Pisces. 10 of cups shows that they freaking love you. They are doing everything they can to manifest the end results. Okay. Maybe even feeling like the plans are taking some time. They're all up in your energy, Pisces energy. That is your energy. Okay. All right. So what is the immediate influence? The Page of Cups, Cancer Energy. They're kind of oozing love for you at the moment in this one here. They're working to make a perfectly blended manifestation with you, okay? It's kind of like Lucy and Ethel in the Chocolate Factory working overtime manifesting everything they can, right? It's it's Page of Cups. They, they, they feel more love that's coming off or they're picking it up off of you like you enter a room. The Page of Cups is, is a message of love and peace that comes in. It's an energy that just when it enters a room, it just makes you feel better and happier and smile and bubble. They are definitely enjoying it. The color blue might be resonating with them or you really like when they wear that blue shirt, blue dress, blue outfit, etc. and so on. Blue heels, whatever. Shoes, go for it. Blue pantsuit. I've been wanting a blue pantsuit. Yeah. Well, like the guy's version of suit and pants. You, you know how it works. Anyhow, somebody's trying to figure out how it all works, right? Because, you know, I'm sitting there going, they're called suits, guys. They're called suits. <laughs> anyway, what is the future influence? If we take your three cards, because you're looking freaking good with your all this going on, and we take their cards that they're working on coming out of this, they're in their emotions a lot. They're not earth. They're not grounded. They're they're in their hearts. Their heart's on their sleeve. They're loving you. Their heart chakra's growing three sides like the Grinch, straight up. So three plus two equals right here. Future influence on the connection. The two of pentacles, a work-life balance. Maybe you guys do work together, or you or them are like online or in social media, or something about dipping the pen in the company ink that kind of works out. That it's a strong, it's making that choice to go forward onto it. It basically couples up with the lovers. Gemini, Capricorn energy. Um, whatever it is, it might even just be the combination that when you're this balanced with your temperance energy and, and you come in with this love and emotion that like, it's when your work life is working well, your love life goes well because there's less stress. Or if your love life's going good, the work life just works out because you're doing well. And then in the end of it, you become the, the grand holy trinity in that one where you just, you're happy. You know, if you make two people happy, one of them's apt to be you, right? Okay. So two of pentacles, you're finding some work balance in this one here, getting it going on. Somebody might be investing. You do, you doing some Bitcoin or some Dogecoin stuff, right? Elon Musk shows up. <laughs> Who's on Twitter? I still call it Twitter. Okay. Anyways, bottom of the deck, still the lovers. No kidding, Archer. You're, you're really tuned into the obvious. Okay. <laughs> Pisces, be nice. I love you. Okay. What's your incoming energy? Five of cups. Aquarius got this in the environmental factors. Maybe you are a Pisces Aquarius cusper or dealing with an Aquarius. Careful with that one, Archer. That's a classic. Yeah, but Aquarius is like in all signs. They're pulling like every freaking energy, especially as we go into this new cycle of Pluto into, into Aquarius. How can they not be receiving like everything on overdrive? Equal fire hose of energy, right? Five of cups. The incoming energy is a lot of feeling like you missed out on the boat on this one here. It's 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 putting an end to the worries. When I get a card like this in the incoming energy, it shows that, yup, you're going to have some more oomph coming in that you're going to be able to work, overcome, and achieve on this. Some deep eighth house energy, Scorpio energy on this one as well, okay? So the Viva Cups are going to feel like you missed out on the boat as you guys come together. Like time is a ticking or running out on something with this one here for the king of vibes. 
The environmental factors around you is big D energy straight up. And I have no better way to put that. All right. It's divine, big divine energy. What did you think it was? Not safe for YouTube. We won't tell. All right. It's the king of wands, Aries energy, the king that shows the wand and goes forward on this one. It's grabbing the wand, making the choice for what you want, like what's shown on the two of wands card and going forward into it. You guys came into each other's lives and energies for a reason. Something about a necklace and feathers are coming in off of this one. That looks almost like a talisman necklace. That's cool. Sagittarius energy, along with some Aries in that one too. It's a lot of fire. There's passion in the environmental factors around you. Okay, they're hot. That takes us to the inner emotions. The devil. Capricorn energy. A lot of motivation to come over this. Right? And come through it overcome the addictions the obsessions the the fears there's a lot of programming i just felt the monarch butterfly monarch programming came out of this too okay so we're going we're going deep into that energy with this it allows you to overcome it before you go right off the bat and go no 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 devil the devil in your emotions archer well it's going to allow you to overcome that when you crown through it because i have a lot of capricorns in my life okay and they're not all mean evil blah, blah, blah. They, they like can hold down multiple jobs they're the best motivators they're cheerleaders it allows you guys to work together and overcome this one and you guys do enjoy each other this is this is stilettos in the boardroom and the bedroom especially when it's on this two of pentacles here where you guys have uh the public life and the private life and they're both like really really nice yes that's that we're gonna leave it with really really nice in this one here okay that's 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 as safe for youtube as we can get Pisces. so um let's go for it you've got some strong aries coming out strong sag and cancer as well hold on 10 cups that's you again oh your person's already connecting angel number 10 10 shows up as well too 10 of cups and it's popping into your energy here so you guys are on each other's minds then then like a lot with this with the strength card pisces moon card to the strength card of leo strong leo energy comes in onto this one here it's kind of like you never doubted yourself you've never doubted yourself or this connection because honestly when you've got their present energy is the first card that popped for the clarifiers you both got got feelings for this but with the strength card you're keeping it in control and setting a bar i just heard a pisces say sit down right strength card to the fool to the lovers are you kidding me with the seer pisces you are basically the doorkeeper the freaking bodyguard to club divine you know and look at the major arcana here in your clarifiers right out of the gate that's a lot of major arcana clarity strength card to the fool to the lovers the decks are sinking too all right that two of pentacles comes out too so it's kind of like you even you always are able to overcome it and not seem to worry okay so like people around you right now might be going like five of cups crazy and and a lot of incoming energy but you stay believing in yourself so you put somebody in check didn't you you kept your judgment. You totally did. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles to the Devil again. Wow, the Y axes are matching up in my reading. The Devil card. It's also the inner emotions towards your final outcome of the lover. So you have to overcome those to go into it. And you're in Temperance energy. It could be a Sag Cap Cusper energy, but there is an Ace of Pentacles new start that you are manifesting from whatever you did to quiet them down. You had to put them in a timeout somehow. All right, Judgment card. It was like. Like the, the eight-year-old with the Sharpie marker and the two-liter Mountain Dew had to take five or something here. It's you, you don't worry about it. It's why you got the moon card because you have the strengths to rise above this, okay? Even Cancer knew to give you the moon card because you put the moon in check because your dreaminess, your connection to that energy, all right? So you worked better to overcome it. And like how I mentioned that outer body experience, judgment card is fifth officer lull, returning back after the sinking of the Titanic to look for survivors all right so that ace of pentacles he found one he found a chinaman from third class on on a door it wasn't actually rose but apparently james cameron read the same um inquiries that i read all right i actually have them um but it starts a new beginning into this one here maybe even possibly like you're finding yourself like like a copy or a clone of yourself like you leave your body and you see your body moving on autopilot it's like you drive somewhere and then you're like wait a second how did i get here you know it's it's you are, or, or you're doing a lot of astral projection, lunar projection, lucid dreaming to connect in this one here. There's a lot of energies bringing you guys back together. King of Cups to the Knight of Wands, Pisces, Sagittarius, and the Ten of Pentacles. Now we've got 10, 10, 10. October 10th and 20th could resonate. So the Knight of Wands, Sag to the King of Cups, you, shows the passion that drives this for something to come back and bubble back up to the surface like Wallace Hartley's violin did here. 
well, it didn't actually bubble up to the surface. They found it during an expedition. They found a suitcase, and in the suitcase was his violin with his initials and stuff on it. That 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 violin came back to the surface. It's now on display. All right. So this allows something with an unconditional love of you that you see to come forward into this one here. You needed some time for you both to go to your respective corners and find your energies to see what you really do love about the situation. They are kind of fearing that you might have forgotten about them or or like that something about what you're doing towards your manifestations might be taking you to a level that they can't keep up with you like you're at king cups and the moon cards here did i not i kid you not did i not just mention how even cancer knew to give you the moon card because cancer's like i'll just take the car and pisces can pisces got this all right so there's a lot that you're working on because you know when you left here that it was all right when it left here six of cups to the page of wands all right the moon card shows Titanic leaving, even though those 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 puppy dogs down there. Why did I just say puppy dogs like that? That was really weird. I just saw a Malamute too. Oh, I love those. They're beautiful. Oh. Anyways, okay. So meanwhile, back at your reading, Pisces, we have the moon card where these dogs are howling because Titanic's leaving. It's on its way to Southampton. It's getting ready to go through its sea trials and everything. So we're right around April 2nd, just after April Fool's Day. It's got delayed one day due to high winds. They wouldn't let it go out for its sea trials because of high winds. All right. But then it left out. This is the it was all right when it left here. Pisces is like, I was awoke to this deep soul connection. I'm OK. I know what we're doing. It's literally all the people of Ireland going. We didn't sink it. We didn't sink it. It was great when it left here. It passed quality inspections. Everybody was cool. We were good with it. We signed off on it. Granted. Now, there were actually, you know, like how in the movie that Rose talks about, you could still smell the fresh paint and all that stuff. That actually is true. That's because it wasn't really finished. They were really doing last minute tightening ups on that boat when it even two of pentacles when it even made it to Southampton. There were actually still employees from Harlan and Wolf on that ship painting it and getting it ready because it needed to be perfect. All right. So there was a lot still going on. There was fresh paint smells because there was. I'm is there a Pisces that's likes painting or you're painting your room or your house or you just like art and painting? Eight of Pentacles, you do really good at it. You are really good. The Eight of Pentacles is MacGyver. This shows the riveters that had to rivet parts of Titanic's hull by hand because Titanic was so finely sculpted and intricately designed. The curves of the bow and the stern, the big hydraulic riveters couldn't staple them together. That's all Titanic was. It was basically steel being steel stapled together. Okay? So you've done a lot of work on yourself on this, your artwork, whatever it is that, that, that we're interpreting towards this paint smell and all that stuff, you, it's MacGyver. They were so intricate that they had to be riveted by hand, hand riveters that put a lot of time, effort, and work into this, just like you have to heal and to look good and to feel good, okay? And you might want to be watching for new signs that are coming in lately that will, like, focus because out of your six of cups, missing the manifestations, you're actually learning something that brings the two of you guys much closer to this week. All right. Eight of Pentacles to the moon card. Even spirits like Archer, you're giving it away early. It's cool. All right. But yeah. So the plans totally involve this. And I'm Eight of Wands. I'm seeing the back of the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour album cover. But specifically, I'm being guided towards the towards the line towards I am the walrus. And if you look at the back of the Magical Mystery Tour album cover, just below I am the walrus, it says in quotations, it says, no, you're not, says little Nicola. Maybe like the name Nicola or Nicholas or Nicole possibly resonates to you possibly, but that song, it, it, it goes in that direction. All right. So let's take a look and see. Uh, we're probably heading in that direction for your music too, because I already do hear that. That's, I like that song too. All right. Give me something on their card too. All right. We got the 10 of cups, page of cups, cancer, Pisces, and the two of pentacles gives us a little Capricorn energy in this one here to ground out and get it going on. What do we got going on? Three of cups. You make them happy. They want to meet up, get together, have coffee, talk about stuff. Dude, the, dude, there might be like an invitation or plans to travel coming in or something for a meetup that's like drinks happiness. There's like 13 cups here. You or them could be born the 13th or the number 13 resonates to you possibly. Four of cups, king of wands to the hanged man. Told you they're thinking about you with the ace of swords because they know they got to cut some ish out to go forward with three of wands back there. They know it's time to do it. And with that king of wands, that's the energy in your environmental factors, and it's also in their clarifiers. Ben Guggenheim, the millionaire playboy. You or them might be a social media influencer or online, YouTube, Instagram, something like that. The King of Wands, Ben Guggenheim was the it dude back then, okay? And he was the one 
that dressed in best and prepared to go down as gentlemen, just like depicted in the movie. No matter what the situation, he looked good, looked styling. Maybe um, they are working on changing their appearance or leveling themselves up or coming to a clearer mindset because with this Four of Cups cancer energy, they realize a lot of what they've done on this one here. So they're making plans that totally involve you, Ten Cups to the Three of Cups, Pisces cancer energy, and taking some time to get things off the ground, okay? Because it's about you. They're still working to clear out some stuff here with the hangman to the ace of swords. So you are their focal point. You're the reason they're doing what they're doing, okay? Trying to go with an energetic flow, match you on your level. They think about you a lot. They think about this situation a lot too. Ace of swords, Libra to cancer. That's both cardinal sign, cardinal energy with the queen of pentacles. You grounded them. You put them in a timeout. Normally this is like getting bank, getting bread, but she actually looks a little perturbed like she's been put in timeout. All right, ace of swords to the four of cups here. They, they're still thinking a lot about the fight. They feel like they overstepped the relationship's dynamics and they can't forget about it because it's, it's like Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart. It's still beating down in the floorboards of their soul. And it's, it's now, it could just be a really simple fight too. Like, like maybe like about the cucumber in the salad or the onions in the meatloaf or something. It doesn't always have to be a sinking of the Titanic moment that brings us into play here. But it's, it, whatever this one is here, they had a hard time making up their mind about something. Four of Cups to the Hanged Man really stuck the Ace of Swords. So the Three of Wands allows them to overcome that here. No, no, no one ever, you know what it is? No one ever told them or remembered the good stuff they did. Give me more on that. Give me more on that, please. And thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands. You're the first one to the frickin' chariot on the Wheel of Fortune. Strong Cancer, Sagittarius energy. Aries and Aquarius as well, too, on this one. So both sides of the cusp. You're the first one to actually show them this kind of an energy or anything. In the past, no one has ever, no one has ever remembered any of the good stuff they do. But everybody has no problem remembering all the bad stuff they do. All right. And that's what energetically is guiding them in your direction here. They have a hard time making up their mind for cups. Okay. Because they, they, in the past, they've been dealing with, nobody had a problem with this. Every time they tried to make a decision, everybody told them something was up with it or something was wrong with it. And it led them into a point of like an emotional shutdown to this one here. So they have been running from their past so long. Chariot energy, foot on the gas. No, I'm going to crash. And it's, it's the passion that led them going forward here. And to like, like, it's hard for them to make a choice because they've been programmed to fear the outcome of the choice. Monarch programming, right? It was like, they're thinking they have to be 100% healed before they come in here. Ace of Wands to the Ace of Swords. They think they have to be completely 100% healed before they come together. But we never stop healing Seven of Swords. The card of the stealth bomber fighter pilot energy coming in to take them five swords out of the situation to allow the healing, but leave the aces there to communicate. We never stop healing, just like we never stop learning. So if they're realizing that they're waiting for something that, that is a continuously involving cycle, then this is something that they're learning to heal and overcome. Wheel of Fortune. Spirit's driving this chariot. <laughs> Autopilot, auto cruise, like a Tesla. Knight Rider did it first. Right there that's my chariot you met my car okay so it's it's like instead of 100 going through with everything here they're working hard to overcome this and they're starting to feel more confident about it ace of wands the ace of swords they're feeling more confident about their mouth or their words nope straight up their mouth archer okay got you do with it what you will on this one here so it's like they're starting to use imaging enhancing software to to clear the granularity out of the copies of the energies of everything they've been reflecting back on justice page of cups seven of cups they're clearing their chakras and energizing stuff in here it's like it's like how the beatles used the cassette tape of john lennon's demo for now and then and turned it into a fully produced master copy on this one here but i'm still john lennon is still holding the magical mystery tour album cover up in me really really not now and then you want i am the walrus okay all right thanks john it's libra energy john was a libra it's the way it goes so i'm still on that line now you're not it's the close and maybe somebody really did read that one as a kid or you saw that book or something here but now okay i and the walrus is really cool john was really proud of that song still is apparently too because it has like the most chords changes of any song like he basically just went whack-a-doodle whack-a-mole all over his piano on that one okay but 
it's 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 in the key of a so it's a straight up 440 hertz april 4th may also resonate to you possibly i'm thinking on that one but it's 440 hertz if you're into binaural beats or just playing i am the walrus it manifests in healing it it, it allows you to prioritize and organize your thoughts page of pentacles literally messages communications and clear the energy so that you are manifesting your world your place and your energy right off the energetical blueprint that you designed signed up for submitted to the building department and it's what's being built the foundation's already there in the energy all right so it's it's coming to fruition ace of wands ace of swords because you guys have actually manifested it into each other it's the reason you guys came into each other's life thank you spirit thank you so grateful interesting song choice interesting song choice and john wrote that off of Lewis Carroll's The Walrus and the Carpenter. So now we're, we're still in the Lewis Carroll stuff too going on to this one. I love going down the Lewis Carroll rabbit hole straight up. All right, Jabberwocky. But it's, why did I just see a two foot tall chocolate Easter bunny? Whoa, that's different. Thank you. I think that might resonate to somebody. Anyways, give me on, on the outcome for this one here. Did I just, did you just hear that fumble on the word? Give me uh, on the outcome here. The heck, five of cups to the king of wands to the devil. Manning up confidently to overcome those five of cups. Somebody doesn't want to miss the boat. Big divine energy. To the devil. Nine of pentacles. Seven of cups came back. Justice is back. The wheel of fortune is back. To the five of swords and the seven of wands. You guys are protected to overcome the energies and the addictions of the past and rise above it. The wheel's turning for you in your favor on this big divine energy. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. To find that justice. When all your chakras line up, you guys find your justice. The head and the heart work together. And spirit guided this energy and put it onto its path. You guys don't have to worry. The nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. On the Scorpio energy, the five of cups. Something about a bird might resonate to you, Pisces. See how she's got a little yellow canary there? You know she got her nine pentacles. She's looking for that one last ace of pentacle. And it's up here in your clarifiers. So you are the one that brings this pentacle to the whole thing. So you all get your 10 pentacles out of it here. It's it's not having to worry if others copy what you're doing or or what it is that comes out of here. Because, dude, the freaking universe has this. You are protected on the seven of wands from all those five of sword devil energies to rise above it. Oh, my God. I kid you not. Pisces, I just got chills all over. Spiritual nine volts of the tongue. The decks have matched up. The lover's card is back down here. Ida and Isidore Strauss. Did I not mention them in the beginning when I was seeing this lover's card? You guys are meeting each other on the same higher energetical plane because you both choose each other on this one here. You don't have to worry. Pisces, the only reason people are going to copy your energies and your relationships into this situation here, it's it's yesterday. It's yesterday. Amazing John Lennon let me hear that song. But but it's yesterday. And Paul McCartney, yeah, rewind, take two, no edits. Paul McCartney doesn't worry. Yesterday is the most covered song of all time. All right. Five of Swords, Seven of Wands. He doesn't have to worry about this. He smiles when he hears covers of copies of songs like Yesterday and that because one, he adores that someone, that his song connected to someone so much and inspired them so much that they wanted to do it. And also, he also cashes a lot of really big royalty checks because of it. So he, he smiles all the way to the bank, checks his online banking and smiles. So... Whatever it is, you are setting the freaking bar into this energy here. This is a very strong and stable connection that is actually setting the bar for others to go forward into this one here. This is literally, it's 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 big divine energy that you guys come together. You, you can overcome all the triggers, all the third party energies, the doubts, the jealousies, all the things that puts people into a, a place of like fear in that and embrace all of the elements for a balanced and equal energetical exchange. The Emperor, I kid you not, I cannot with you, Pisces. The Emperor, Thomas Andrews, the man who had notebooks up the wazoo about his ships. He designed the Olympic, the Titanic, and the Britannic. They were his brain baby. Honorable mentions to Alexander Carlyle, by the way. However, he had notebooks on how to make the Titanic better than the Olympic and the Britannic better than the Titanic. Did you know the Britannic was going to have a pipe organ? It was going to have a big freaking pipe organ in the, in the grand staircase. So cool. Oh my God, so cool. I would totally have played that organ. I dug the Olympic because in the 1920s, in the Great Gatsby era, that's when I would want to be around because like the staircase was painted avocado green and it was all art deco and dude, I just total, total Gatsby vibes, old sport coming off of this. 
you manifested and created this. The Pisces that I'm talking to with those big notebooks and like you got a lot of songs you've wrote, you have poems, you have artworks, you have sketches, you have drawings. That stuff is all manifesting into this point. Even if they're just drawings of cucumbers and onions. Something about the cucumbers and the onions come into it here, like chopping broccoli on the emperor energy for the Aries to make the choice to go forward into this one here. You guys came into each other's energies to set the bar for generations to come. You, the Pluto into Aquarius is changing. It's it, it's the end of the back in my day energy and the transition into the beginning of the this is my day energy. All right. This is a solid, strong, real, clear love energy with the lovers squared. Double Gemini energy because you both have made this choice to have a strong, solid, clear connection that you both have wished for. Wow. Claim this reading, Pisces. I felt this one. This one hit. This was awesome energy. Oh, my goodness. Um, Yeah. You have got strong Aries, strong Cancer, strong Leo as well. Um, Taurus, Virgo is here, Sagittarius and Capricorn, big time. There's a lot of Cusper energy as well, too. You're all over the place. There's Pisces energy. There's Scorpio energy here. Gemini, Gemini, big freaking time here. Um, yeah. So claim this one down in the comments. Let's manifest this one big time. And leave a comment. Let me know which one of these signs you're dealing with, okay? Because remember, it could be any sign. Because I am FHA compliant here and will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. Whether you got a Taurus sun or a Pisces Pluto or a Cancer, Uranus, whatever. But <laughs> poor Uranus, still a butt of all science class jokes. Love them. All right. Let me know how it's going on. I appreciate you very much. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, since I am FHA compliant and will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. Because we're not just the sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, but all the parts of all our charts. You can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com to inquire with booking on a personal reading. And um, yeah, I'll see you later until next time. Check out my channel and everything else. See you at my live all signs and make it a great one. Thank you so much, Pisces, for taking time out of your day and your heart and your life and your energy to be here with me. I truly appreciate you. I'm very grateful for that. And Spirit, thank you very much for the unique and amazing messages that we got today. We are truly grateful for it. Appreciate you very much. I'm going to go listen to the Magical Mystery Tour now. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you, Pisces. Until next time, you stay safe. I'll see you then. All right? Namaste. Peace and love. All right, cheer out. Yeah, cheer out. I love you to the moon and back.